The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds, he is one half of the world tag team champions, Chris Jericho! This guy's hot, red hot, and he claims to be the king of the world. And his tag team partner, Christian, did not fare very well earlier tonight against RVD, who will be in the elimination chamber at Survivor Series along with Jericho. Kane has his sights set on decimating Triple H here tonight. I can't believe Kane would come out here with a big fireball and explosion. 
you'd think he would have learned as a kid that you don't play with matches. I must admit, it's a little odd to look at these guys as partners here tonight, knowing that in the Elimination Chamber, they are all going to be against each other. Well, of course, add Rob Van Dam and Shawn Michaels to the mix. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. It'll be every man for himself, King, and each and every one of them has one goal in mind, to be the World Heavyweight Champion. J is at his best. And this is the guy who beat The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin on the same night. It was December of last year at Vengeance. Jericho first beat The Rock to become world champion. Then WWE champion Stone Cold to become the first historic undisputed champion. You know, Booker T hasn't gotten the opportunities that many feel he deserves to become the world heavyweight champion. Well, he'll have a huge opportunity inside the Elimination Chamber at Survivor Series. And you can bet he wants to build momentum heading into Survivor Series. He can do just that right here tonight if he can fend off Triple H and Chris Jericho. Five. And he's heading back in. Now Six. back to the ring. Jericho maneuvers his way out of trouble. Yeah, I didn't see that one coming, Cole. Tonight, Chris Jericho and Ric Flair on the same side. But it was just a few months ago that the Nature Boy made Y2J tap out to the figure four at SummerSlam. And, of course, SummerSlam was the site of Shawn Michaels' first match in four years when he took on Triple H in an unsanctioned street fight. It was a brutal battle, King, but in the end, it was Shawn Michaels walking away with the victory. Actually, Cole, Michaels didn't walk away at all. He was stretchered out thanks to Triple H's post-match attack and his trusty sledgehammer. Booker T and Chris Jericho have been developing quite the rivalry the past couple of weeks. I remember so vividly in Las Vegas after Booker T won a steel cage match, he had his head busted open at the hands of Chris Jericho. Oh, I remember Vegas, all right. I'm sure you do, King. Did you get your ticket punched? Well, I did find out what happens in Vegas doesn't stay in Vegas. A quick reversal by Ric Flair. Ouch! Whip right into that wall. Last week on Raw, we saw Kane defeat World Heavyweight Champion Triple H in a non-title casket match. You would think that loss is still bothering the game. Well, you left out one key part of that match, Cole. Kane's win only came after Shawn Michaels weaseled his way into the match and delivered sweet chin music to Triple H. Booker T is looking mighty impressive as of late. Great offensive show. Oh! And there's the reversal. Great reversal. You know, not only is Chris Jericho one half of the World Tag Team Champions, but he's also a huge rock star. Well, he says he is. Some people would actually say he's an ass clown. What? <laughs> now, why would you say that, Cole? You're the one acting like an ass clown. Yeah, everybody. Wow, what a move by Chris Jericho. That's how you sweep an opponent under the carpet. Well, he was able to reverse it and get out of that. Big time 
impact. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, what a counter. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. When Survivor Series comes and all six superstars are locked inside the Elimination Chamber, Rob Van Dam will be the only one who has never held a world title. Do you expect that to impact RVD negatively once the bell rings, King? Of course it will. There's something to be said about having been there before and the experience that goes along with it. The five other superstars know exactly what it takes to become champion. Rob Van Dam can only assume he knows. Booker T. When are you people going to learn to get right counter? And that was a huge counter. Chris Jericho says he's sick of Booker T calling him sucker. And I'm being honest, I agree. He has a name, you know. Jericho has also said he has more talent in his pinky finger than Booker T has in his whole body, which is obviously a gross misestimation. your partners here tonight, but you have to wonder how much longer these guys can coexist. Earlier this year, at WrestleMania 18, it was the game beating Y2J for the undisputed title. Well, let me just say this. I actually wonder how long Booker T and Kane are going to coexist. They're both going to be in the Elimination Chamber, and they're both a couple of freaks. Booker T and Kane have some integrity. I think they're going to be just fine. It's the guys across the ring from them that I'm a little suspect about. Integrity? Let's not forget, Triple H was awarded the World Heavyweight Championship on September 2nd. Oh, I'm so sick of you throwing that in Triple H's face. He's defended it numerous times since then. He's beaten everybody in WWE. Actually, that's not true, Ken. There's a few left. And if you eliminate Ric Flair at a sledgehammer, Triple H wouldn't even be champion today. What? We don't know exactly what to expect when we see the Elimination Chamber unveiled in the Survivor Series, but we do know that it will combine elements of War Games, the Royal Rumble, and Survivor Series. And add to that the importance of the World Heavyweight Championship. Live for one, incredible counter! Parker's beat. Well, look at this. There's the cover by Booker. And save of the matchup was Chris Jericho. And Chris Jericho looking for the walls at Booker T. Oh, look out. Top rope came. 300 plus pounds flooring Chris Jericho. And now he takes the fight to oh. Jericho outside. Watch out here. Oh, my gosh. Kane into those steel steps. Meanwhile, uh, Booker T and Triple H in the oh! Booker T knocking the official off the apron. And now Booker oh! T with a big kick. That could do it. Triple H flattened by that big kick from Booker T. What's Booker doing now? Well, Booker usually doesn't go up top. Booker oh! T is Triple H. Stepped out of the way. And now Triple H is going to take advantage. Right to the midsection. Oh Looking boy. The pedigree now. On from the team. Wait yes. a minute. Shawn Michaels with sweet chin music. Dropping Triple H. The official down and out. You never saw it. The showstopper putting the referee back in the ring. Shawn Michaels just stopped this show for Triple H. Shawn Michaels with the sweet chin music on Triple H, and all Booker T has to do.